If you've spent a lot of time drawing that perfect model of your space in drafting software, Augmented has tools that will allow you to utilize the work you've already done. We are now going to discuss the types of drawing file formats that Augmented supports and how to import your existing files into Augmented. You can import 3D objects from over 50 different file formats. You can import individual objects or an entire space. Consider how you will want to interact with and move objects that you import to decide whether you bring things into the model individually or as a group. So for example, if you import your space, you may want to bring in your masking separately so that you can move or hide that object independently from the walls of your venue. Our preferred file formats are Collada and Filmbox. They have the most useful 3D information stored in their files, including orientation and origin. On a tethered machine, I'm gonna go ahead and put my thumb drive in here. And on the tethered device, I'm going to go to File, Import to Library, and click on 3D Model. I'm gonna make sure I've got my thumb drive selected. I'm gonna go to my folder. And these are Collada files here, as I mentioned earlier. So it's the .dae format. But you can see there's a whole host of formats that are supported by Augmented. First, I'm gonna bring in my stage house. So I'm gonna open that. And I get a pop-up here with a few options. I am able to change the scaling of the object if I know I need to shrink it or make it larger. For now, I'm gonna leave it as is because I know it was drafted in the correct scale in Vectorworks. I can also change my origin of the model. So my choices are as model, this is going to leave the origin where it was drawn in the original drafting program. I can change it to center, which will put the origin in Augmented at the center XYZ positions of that object. Ground will put the origin at the bottom of the object, and top will put it at the top of the object. I'm going to leave it as model for today because I know that it's in the correct place. I'll go ahead and click OK, and you'll see it has appeared in the library over on the left there. So in order to add it to the model, I just need to drag it in, and that is our stage house. And then zoom out so we can see a little bit. We've got a proscenium here and a uh, house floor out here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove our ground plane. We're not gonna need that anymore. Okay, so you can see because of how we've placed our objects, our truss is out front and our couple of overstage lights are back there behind the proscenium. Before we import our scenery, I'm going to switch over to running Augmented natively on the console so that we can see how that works a little bit differently than running it on a tethered device. All right, I've now set up my console to run Augmented natively. We are no longer in a tethered environment. And to import objects in this situation, we don't need to be in the editor, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that. And this is done in the browser. So I'm going to go to File, and import, and then down toward the bottom, I have augmented scenic model. That's what I want. I'm gonna grab my thumb drive, find the correct folder, and now I want to grab the scenery and masking. So I'm gonna select that. I'll minimize our CIA so we can see a little better. You'll see I'm presented with the same options for importing that I was on the tethered model. I won't go through all those again here, but I will choose as model for my origin again, as we did before. And once again, that file is going to appear in my library and to import it as before, I can just drag that in and that's going to appear in our model. Now, because I exported this all as one object, it's going to be one single object in augmented. So I can move or scale all of my scenic pieces together. And finally, I'm going to get rid of that cube because that is in the way and not needed any longer. Let's delete that. All right, that all looks great. So I'm going to hit done and apply my changes.